So Christmas is here and I figured it'd be fun to show you guys the top seven sets I sent my wife to be like, hey, these are on my wish list of sets I would like to have. Go crazy, pick one out, pick two, maybe three, you know what I'm saying? No, just pick them out. But anyways, I have other stuff on the list that's not Lego. So these are the seven sets I sent her though to pick out at least something. I'm hoping, <laughs> I hope I get at least one of these. Comment down below before we get started, what is the number one set you have on your wish list this year? Without further ado, Let's get started. What up you guys, it's Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Today I figured it'd be just kind of fun, have a chill video because we're here at the holidays. Um, it is Christmas Eve for me today. If you're watching this, it may be Christmas Eve night, Christmas day, the day after, who knows. But I figured it'd be fun to show you guys exactly what is on my list um, this year because there's a handful of things that you guys may not be expecting um, because there's a couple things I've wanted to dibble dabble in. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, two of these are probably gonna be a little shocker to you. But anyways, let's begin. All right guys, so for one of the items on my list, this is gonna be the Creator Expert Ford Mustang. Now, I'm a big fan of the Ford Mustang. The white stripes with the navy blue looks really nice. And I'm a really big fan of how this turned out. It's just like the Porsche for me, which is like right there. Um, I think they did a really good job, especially doing brick built to get to that look is so impressive. Um, and it displays so well. Like when people come in here and they look in my office and they see that, they're like, holy cow, I can't believe that's actually made out of Lego pieces. And you know, the people that see that, they aren't big fans of Lego. So usually they're like, that's cool. Didn't know they could do that. You know what I mean? It's kind of like when I first came across being, you know, a big fan of Lego again is I was like, holy cow, I didn't know they made certain sets like that. But anyways, the Ford Mustang, really cool set. Um, it's 150 bucks, so it's definitely in the price range of where I would be cool with, um, you know, for Christmas and everything. So I do think the only spot is like, they left two studs on the front fenders. I think they should have covered those up. Other than that, I think it turned out immaculate. <laughs> and maybe I'm just being picky, but you know, other than that, everything's so smooth and for some reason they have those. But the grill looks amazing, the hood's amazing. Everything is just awesome. Anyways, next one is going to be the typewriter. Now this one is 200 bucks. It's definitely a set that um, I think really represents how versatile Lego can be. Uh, obviously we just talked about the Ford Mustang, but the typewriter, this is just extremely unique. This is something that it displays well, it'll be timeless. The color choices were timeless. Um, the little pop of red, but the way it actually works, the fact that you can actually press it and everything pops, I mean it, it's a really cool set. And this is one that I think would look really good being displayed. I saw this at the Lego store. Um, if you guys watched my last vlog, they had a couple of them there the other day. And I was like, man, those would be really cool to have. Right now I've been kind of focused on trying to get stuff from my city, but at the same time, like I also want to get sets that I just genuinely enjoy. And this is one that I genuinely enjoy um, that I think I would love to display. So this is one that's on my wish list again, 200 bucks. But yeah, so this is one that's definitely on my list. On to the next. All right, so I'm not a huge fan of collecting the large Star Wars sets with like the UCS Millennium Falcon or the AT-AT. Um, but one of them that has really caught my eye lately and it is going to be the UCS Republic gunship. Now, the reason why this one has caught my eye, it really brings back so much nostalgia from when I was younger um, because one of my first big Star Wars sets was one of the Republic gunships and I still have it, I need to put it together, it's in a thousand pieces, but, um, but anyways, you know, this is one that, the wings are a bit big for me, like displaying wise, I think it'd be a little difficult with my current situation. However, I really like the Republic gunship, and I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, and so this one doesn't break the bank, like getting the Millennium Falcon, or getting the at, -AT Walker, so it's still a moderate price, but it's something that you can display and is super impressive with the wingspan, the way that it, it's a great set and I'm sure it, you know you already have your own opinion of it but uh, this is definitely one that I would love to have uh, mostly because again like I said one of my first big uh, Lego sets ever was one of the Republic gunships so on to the next one all right keeping it kind of light in terms of uh, money wise this one is going to be the architect set the New York City now I've got again the Dubai over there and I've got the Tokyo over there uh, I do want to collect um, as many as I can because like if you've been subscribed or have seen any of my past videos, I like to collect the ones where I've been. So I need to get ones like the Paris and the England, San Francisco, the Vegas. I still need to pick up all those in the Shanghai one. So, but the problem is when you start adding all those up, 
turns into a lot of money for just architect sets. So I'm trying to pick ones that I really, really like um, that also aren't retired because I'm gonna have to spend a decent amount of money. I don't know if they retired the New York City one, but it's been out of stock, so I don't know if my wife's gonna be able to find it, but I challenged her and said, hey, if you can find it, I would love to have a set like this. So we'll see. All right, now on to my top three that I would love to have. This one is going to be the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. This one is, again, one of those sets that just shows how unique LEGO can be. And when you've got the NES that literally looks identical to the system that I had when I was younger, and the remotes, and the game, that is just extremely creative on LEGO's part. And the TV as well. Um, yeah, and the fact you could turn it and it changed, yeah. It's just, it's a great set. And it's one that would be timeless in my opinion because they made this, look, you got Super Mario obviously, but the NES. So you got two iconic things wrapped into one bow. And over time, I think the set will become valuable because the nostalgia from when everyone was younger that would like the sets. But I don't know if I'd ever get rid of it because this one is super unique and again, it's one that I would love to have. Um, I would display it right behind me. All right guys, for number two, this is gonna be the art project Create Together. Now, if you guys know me at all, I'm a very creative person. I love to create, I love to edit videos. I mean, obviously here on YouTube, that's what, but I love to make videos in general, like of my family. Um, I love to draw, I love to do graphic design. Um, I'm very art oriented, I would say. And so to get a bunch of pieces, cause this comes with, how many pieces? This comes with 4,138 pieces. Um, so obviously a certain amount of every color and everything, but I would love to create something to display behind me. Um, just be really creative with it. Cause like if you look at the picture, obviously you can see they showcase, oh, like a trophy, pizza, a basketball, a rainbow, all that stuff. Um, but I would really like to just create something of my own that I could display. All right guys, and on to my most wanted one this Christmas, which I didn't tell my wife which one was my most wanted because I wanted her to just genuinely find something and not be influenced by my number one, but it's Moss Eisley Cantina. Now, this one isn't the like greatest display set you'll ever see, but it's one that's loaded with great minifigs. It's awesome in terms of play functionality is you can open it up so like my son could play with it and he would have a hoop with it. Um, you got the speeder, you got the, um, you got the second building off to the side. So it's a set I really want because I want the minifigs, I want the scene. So in the future down the road when I have more time and I can do stop motion, I have a full on size of Cantina I can do. And it would be perfect to film in that. But again, probably the most for the minifigs. Um, and just a set in general. This is a fantastic set. It's, you know, 350 bucks, 3,187 pieces. But yeah, one that every time I go to the Lego store, I'm like, oh, I should get it, I should get it. But again, I've been focused so much on my city, I need to just like take a step back and be like, you know what, get, get some sets that I really, really wanna get. So that's what I did with my wish list for my wife, is I was like, look, these are all a bunch of sets I would love to have. Go crazy, pick what you want. Um, I don't care if it's one, I don't care if it's three, just, I would like one. So anyways, that's gonna be it for my list. Uh, let me know again down below which one you guys would love to have for your, uh, your, your Christmas or for your holiday or whatever you celebrate. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you after the holiday.